Hello guys, and in this video I'll show you the entire digital character sculpting process from a sphere to end. Also, this character will be ready for printing and you'll be able to download it from the link in the description. This time, on Pinterest I found a concept by Raul Morena Casleta, which I found interesting because I've never created vehicles for printing and I wanted to try it. First off, I found some references for Tuk Tuk because I had no idea how it looked like. After this, I started creating the pigeon from a sphere. With clay build up, I created eye sockets and added a sphere for the eyes and mirrored it, so we have two eyes. I did the same process with his nostrils. After this, I added another two spheres for his beak and used zero measure for the nostrils so we have better topology. Then I added a sphere for his hat, deleted one half of it, adjusted it with move brush and used zero measure. After this, I masked the area on the eyes where I wanted to place his pupils and extracted them. Next, I decided to make them dark because it gives such a nice feeling that the character is alive. I added the concept image as a spotlight texture in ZBrush so I can understand the proportions of the character better and added a sphere for his vest, use zero measure, added another sphere for his shirt and extracted his cellar and some details for the shirt and adjusted them with move brush. After this, on the internet, I found some references for bow tie, added two spheres, adjusted them with move, mirrored it and applied zero measure. I added other spheres for his pants. after I extracted his future jacket and details of the hat. Then I started adjusting his jacket with move brush and applied zero measure. Then I added two spheres for the sleeves and zero mesh them. I extracted the cellar, the down part of the jacket and the details for the sleeves and also zero mesh them. I merged the sleeves with the jacket, used to mesh by Union and Sculptors Pro to connect them together. After this, I extracted zipper on the jacket his belt, buckle and some details for the belt. I also extracted his fly and merged it with the same way as I did with the sleeves. Then I extracted his pockets and bullied them from the pants. For his boots I added two spheres and used knife curve brush to make its bottom flat and extracted some details. When it came to creating his feathers on his hat, I understood that I won't be able to do them like on the concept, because they would look like this. So I decided to change them a little bit and used a free brush which I found on the internet. I also changed the material of the character, so I could better understand its proportions.
After I was done with the hat, I added details to the top part of the jacket and used the same brush for the feathers and damp standard. Also, I used move brush to edit the shape a bit. After this, I used zero measure to get a better topology. When it came to creating some folds, I used standard and damp standard brush for it. And I also added some feathers on his sleeves. Next, I extracted details for the vest and remeshed his pants. I added folds on the pants with Orb Crack's brush. After this, I started creating Tuk Tuk in Blender, but I want to say sorry to you because I didn't record the main part of this process. Before starting creating Tuk Tuk, I found some blueprints of this on the internet and placed them in Blender. After this, I started adding basic shapes as cubes and cylinders and adjusting them to the blueprints. When I was done, I imported this model in ZBrush and added small details and remeshed some parts of the model and made them symmetrical. After this long process, I imported the character to the scene, scaled it, placed and started poly painting. I selected skin shade 4 material and standard brush, then I added the concept as a texture to select right colors. First off, I added basic color for every object and after this I added some details for them. And also, I did the same process with Tuk Tuk. After this I started preparing my model for 3D printing. If you want to know more, you can watch my tutorial about this. Next, I imported this model in Marmoset tool bag, adjusted roughness for different materials and added some light, so it emphasizes the shape of the character.
finally, I pressed render button and here's the final result. If you like the result, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe this channel and my art station. Here you can also watch more videos like this.